Hi everybody, I'm going to show you today how to do uh, the gradebook comments to create some um, custom scoring options in your Synergy gradebook. So um, first let me uh, tell you how to get there. So once you sign into Synergy, you're going to want to go to um, hover over gradebook and you're going to want to go to the gradebook setup section. So that's where I'm at. When you click gradebook setup, you're going to land here. And then across the top, you have these tabs and you're going to want to go to gradebook comments. All right. So once we're in gradebook comments, you will see that there are already some um, district wide comments that are included in your gradebook. And um, you are certainly welcome to use these comment codes. They're right here, L-A-A-B-M-I-I-N. Um, one thing that I've noticed though is that this, um, this one right here, the missing one, the removing when, because the removing when scored is turned on, because obviously after you scored, it's no longer missing. Um, but because it's there, it doesn't show up as an option in your Google Classroom connection settings to use that code with assignments that are being and scores that are being imported in from Google Classroom. So if you want a type of missing assignment thing um, code that you can use on those imported scores from Google Classroom, you're going to have to make your own. So I'm going to show you how to make one and then I'm going to suggest um, something that can be similar to marking zeros as missing when coming in from Google Classroom. So um, to make a new code, you're going to come up here and click the little plus sign and the word new button. And you're going to get some things that you can fill in up here. Now it does explain what everything's doing up here if you read that text. Um, but basically right here, this is where you'd probably put the full text of your comment. So I'm going to call this one not done. So um, what I mean by that is if something gets marked by that, students didn't do it, there's nothing there, there's nothing for me to grade, right? Now sequence wise, I'm just going to put it as a five because there's already four here and this is just going to be number five. And then um, here's the two options we want to look at for the not scored value. You have um, two options. It tells you up here, not scored value can accept percentage values. Um, that will load the percentage of max points instead of a fixed value. So um, what I do, um, for example, is um, because I do not like to give zeros, um, even if um, the assignment is not done, I just penalize it with a really low F. So like I do like a 30% F. That way um, students don't dig themselves too deep in a hole, even if they're missing assignments. Now that's just something I do. So that's what I would put here. Um, but you are certainly welcome to put it at a zero um, if that's what you would um, expect the score to be when marking it with that comment. So you can put whatever score you want there. And if you put a percent sign here, then anything that has that code, it's going to give it a 30%. It's going to figure out what 30% is based on the total points. Um, so that's kind of a useful feature. The penalty percent here is, again, this is, would be kind of for like a late thing if they got, if they get 10% marked off for being late or something like that, that's what you would use this for. Um, but I'm not going to use it for this particular comment. Um, then um, would this be, you, would you want this included in the missing count totals? Yes, because obviously it's not done. So we're going to mark that yes. That's what this column is. It just means that when Synergy tallies the total of missing assignments for the students, an assignment that was marked with this code would be included. So we're going to mark that yes. And then again, I'm going to have this be an ND for not done. Yeah, I'll do capitals there. Okay, and then um, over here, you can have it choose remove when scored. But um, because I noticed that when it's marked here, this doesn't allow um, the Google Classroom settings to use it. So I'm going to leave it on no. And besides, even if they get scored on it later, I'll know if it's a higher score than 30 that the reason that it was at some point not done. And that also is going to help me remember anyway. So I'll leave it like that. And once you're done there, you're going to click insert. 
And now that comment should pop on and be ready to go and use. And what I mean by that, and I was going to show you, when you're setting up your connection for Google Classroom, so just really quickly, when you're in here and you're looking for this setting here, um, what to do with scores of zero, um, you'll notice that missing the missing one does not come up, but my not done one does come up. So that was the reason we set it, I set it up that way to have that option when I'm doing my settings. So that's just a quick tip and also letting you know how to add custom comment codes in Synergy.